In the soil, there are negatively charged anions and positively charged cations. Naturally occurring colloids in the soil have negative charges and attract positively charged nutrients. When you add armament to the soil, it magnifies the amount of negatively charged sites. Armament particles attract a bond with cationic nutrients in the soil, some of which then form bonds with anionic nutrients. Armament strong negative charge complements naturally occurring colloids in the soil. There are three categories of nutrients in the soil, monovalent cations, and divalent and trivalent cations, which have positive charges, and anions that bind with divalent or trivalent cations. Monovalent cations have one available charge and only bind with armament. Divalent and trivalent cations have multiple charges, allowing them to simultaneously bind with both armament and anionic nutrients. The above nutrients have only one positive charge. They will bond with armament, but not with other negatively charged nutrients in the soil. The above nutrients have either two or three positive charges. They will bond both with armament and negatively charged nutrients in the soil. These nutrients have negative charges. They bond with the available charges of divalent or trivalent nutrients. The result of these bonds is the formation of a nutrient cluster around the armament comprised of both anionic and cationic nutrients. These armament nutrient clusters remain small enough where they will not precipitate, allowing the nutrients to remain in solution and available for uptake into the plant. As roots intercept the nutrient cluster, they release hydrogen ions. This causes the bonds between armament and cations to break and the nutrients to be taken up into the plant. Armament stays in the soil and continues this process, facilitating more efficient nutrient uptake for several months. Eventually, biology in the soil breaks down armament as a food source.